I'm Manibal Oyer, I'm professor at the University of Seville and coordinator of the AeroArms project. This project is devoted to the design and development of uh, aerial robots with uh, multiple arms and to the application to the inspection and maintenance. So the main challenges and ambition of the project are first to develop this technology for aerial manipulation with multiple arms developed the first uh, in the world and the second is the application to inspection and maintenance and particularly in oil and gas plants. We started from the technologies that we developed in the ARCAS project and then in FP7 and then we plan to first develop uh, new robots that are able to uh, grab and dock to one structure, for example a pipe, and then to perform some accurate operation like, for example, drilling. The other possibility is to uh, fly, move the two arms at the same time, so this is bilateral manipulation, and then perform some repairing operations or to use one arm to provide uh, some fixed contact point and then manipulate with the second arm. Now, we are also looking to applications. And then, in this industrial application, we consider two use cases. One is the installation of sensors, for example, in pipes that are height, and then we use the aerial robot to uh, install these sensors. And then, the other application is to transport, deploy, and maintain a ground robot in the structure, for example, in the pipe, in the haze, and then uh, maintain means, for example, change the batteries or refilling some tanks. So the application of the project that we will validate in industrial site is the maintenance of uh, oil and gas plants, and particularly of pipes. This is very relevant in terms of uh, the impact because uh, the cost of the maintenance of the pipes in this industry is more than one uh, billion uh, per year. And also uh, one single uh, refinery, for example, can have more than 40,000 kilometers of pipes. So I think that this is uh, very relevant in economical terms, but also in terms of safety of the workers. What challenges do you see in this project? The first is the development of the technology, aerial uh, robotic manipulation with more than one arm. We plan to develop the first manipulators, aerial manipulators, with uh, multiple joint uh, and more than one arm. This is the first challenge. And the second is the application for inspection and maintenance, particularly in oil and gas plants.